in this video we will add final details to the 3d drawing and we will render our drawing with autodesk autocad software so first select the cap shape and hide this and now we will add a label 3d solid here so select this origin option and move our origin on this point so you may need to turn on object snap and now click at this center point now click on top and now we'll add a small line that will represent the label so for that select the line tool and start your line to approximately this point you may need to turn off object snap and now make a line just like this and let's turn off this polar tracking as well and now make it approximately of this size along the boundaries of this bottle now press enter and now we'll revolve it so go to this revolve tool of the surface select the line press enter now click on the center and turn on the object snap now click on the center of this 3d shape and click along the y axis okay and here we have it the 3d label now we can remove this line it is no longer required and let's bring back object from the isolation so here we have it now to add materials go to this visualize tab and select this material browser now here we have this material browser palette and you can expand this tree to see the complete list of materials available in autocad now select this glass and select this clear glazing glass object and drag and drop it on this 3d solid or this bottle shape now select this plastic and select this white textured plastic object and material and apply it on the cap so now you can see that these two materials are applied and we can change the color of the cap by modifying the material so double click on this coarse textured white now select the color and change the color of this material from this select color window and this seems appropriate so click on ok and here we have it the color has been applied Now select the bottle shape then right click select isolate and hide objects and we will now create the label material for that select this global material right click and select duplicate now name it as label and double click on it to modify its properties so in the material editor click on this image and select this label so this image has been provided with the downloads and now double click on this image and scroll it downwards and click on this link to unlink the width and height and change this height to 3.8 units and in this repeat panel change this horizontal and vertical option to none and now close all of these open palettes now once again and drag and drop the label material and drop it on this surface and right now you may not see any change here and to make the changes visible you need to first change the visual style to realistic and even in this case the material is although visible but not very clearly so we'll change the material ma mapping option so for that go to the visualize tab select the material mapping and planner mapping now from these grips you can modify the mapping of this image on the 3d so you can turn off this object snap and move it according to your requirement to properly place it on the label and if required you can orbit our geometry to see it from different angles now this seems quite appropriate to me so if we can also decrease the height so for that i'll select this option once again and i'll decrease its height a little bit just to fit it completely in the provided shape okay now we have it properly placed from all the sides now you can simply bring back all the objects from isolation and our drawing is finally prepared for rendering so in order to start a rendering we need to change a little bit 
of the settings of the environment and to change the settings click on this render drop down and select this render environment and exposure now turn on the environment settings by clicking this icon and select this rim highlights from the drop down okay now select low as a render preset and zoom up to this size and click on this render to size icon now wait for a moment and this will create your final rendering and here it is the final rendered image and as you can see that we have rendered it with a very low quality preset the image is not of very high quality so if you want an image of very high quality then you need to increase the render preset but this will take more time for creating the rendering so once again go to these settings and change it to warm light this time and render it again to see it in a different view and if required you can also apply many other settings to this 3d shape so now i'll change the render preset to high and change our image based lighting to this plaza and select this render to size and this will take more time so here it is after the final rendering and this is the shape which you will get or this is the image which you get now these are the renderings which i have created with autodesk 360 cloud account so with the cloud account you can create these renderings and the results are far better than the results which you will obtain with this standalone software so this was all about the complete 3d project and if you want to know more about the cloud rendering, you can find the relevant information in this course.